Hey guys, so today I have a weekly wrap up for you. First book I read was Eve by Anna Carey and this is a dystopian. It is set in a world where girls are brought up in these schools separated from boys and they are basically taught that boys are evil creatures and they learn to fear them. Our main character Eve is the valedictorian of her school but she soon finds out that there's this huge secret that the school is keeping from her and she decides that she has to escape before she graduates. This book was pretty good. The only complaint I have is that I feel like it was maybe a little underdeveloped in parts, but it was a really enjoyable read and I would definitely still recommend it. I think I gave it four stars on Goodreads. The next book I read was The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album. The title of this book pretty much implies what it's about, but it is about an old man who dies and when he goes to heaven he has five people that he has to meet and learn a lesson from each one of them. Then after he learns his lessons he can finally move on and find peace in heaven. So. It was a really good book. It's amazing that Mitch Album could have so much character development and have such a story that really impacted me in such a tiny book. I was really impressed with that, so I can't wait to read his other books, and I highly recommend this one. Next, I read Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead, which is the fourth book in the Vampire Academy series. It's pretty big, but I finished this in two days. I was so proud of myself. It was so good, you guys. I am just in love with this series. Of course, I can't really tell you what this book was about but I will just say that the series is about a girl named Rose who is living in this academy for vampires hence the name and she is training to become basically a bodyguard for royal vampires so it's such an amazing series and I really urge you guys to check it out next book I read was Tiger Lily by Jodi Lynn Anderson this was a good book but I do have some complaints that I do feel the need to point out as a reviewer. The first half of the book was just like really hard for me to get through, it was slow, and as I was reading I would like find my mind drifting off to totally and completely different things. That could have to do with just a lot being on my mind, but a really really good book would hold my attention and my mind wouldn't wonder. So that is definitely an issue, but overall I loved how original the plot was, I just loved the story. This is about Tiger Lily, but the narrator of the story is Tinkerbell. So I just love the story of Peter Pan anyway, so getting to hear more about Tiger Lily is really awesome. It's almost kind of like a prequel to Peter Pan because all of this takes place right before Wendy comes into the picture. So it's a really good book. I would definitely still recommend it, but like I said, I would just warn people when they read it that it's slow moving at first. The last book that I read is Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick and I just finished this book. This is one of the reasons that my video is going up so late because I was trying so hard to finish this book first. This book was really good. You know, I could be really picky and sit here and tell you things that I thought were wrong with the book, but they weren't huge issues and I still really enjoyed it. Yeah, I can't wait to read the rest of the series. So that is my wrap up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.